Hey, Hanako! Yes, sir. Uh, how can I be of service to you? So, I got an invitation the other day. An invitation? Who was it from, sir? From a werewolf. A werewolf, sir? Yeah, well, to be more precise, it was from a person who I thought was my friend, but it turns out he was actually a werewolf. You think he's gonna eat me? I'm absolutely terrified, that's why he sent me the invitation. I've been asking around all day, and everyone I talk to says they think he's gonna try to eat me! I don't wanna get eaten, Hanako! I'm not ready to die! I still haven't gotten all 120 stars in Super Mario 64! Uh, okay. Well, why do you think he's a werewolf, sir? Look at the invitation. It says it's at the Lupine Wedding Chapel. Huh? Wait a second. I got one of these invitations, too. Wait, for real, Hanako? You got an invitation, too? Yes, sir. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I'm glad you're relieved, but why is that, sir? Well, duh. You're going to be there with me, Hanako. As long as you're with me, I'll have no trouble running away from any werewolves that might be there. Phew. Guess I won't be needing this werewolf repellent. Um, sir, may I ask where you bought that werewolf repellent and how much you paid for it? I bought it on the internet for $1,000. Great deal, right? <sighs> Guess I'll have to contact the credit card company, again. Seriously though, I'm super happy you're gonna be there with me, Hanako. As long as we're together, those stinking werewolves don't stand a chance. Bye-bye, Hanako. I've gotta go get ready to face the werewolves. But sir, I was trying to tell you, it's the Lepine Chapel, not the Lupine Chapel. My name is Hanako. I work as an executive assistant at a certain company. That man is Leon and we've known each other since we were kids. You might be asking why I call him sir, even though he isn't technically my boss. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh, I have to find him before he gets into any more trouble. Hey, is that you? Hanako? <gasps> oh my god, it is you, isn't it? I knew it was you. Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't believe we've... Wait, Sakurako? <laughs> right on, girlfriend. Oh my god, we haven't seen each other since high school. Remember me? I was the one who got scouted as a fashion model. And I'm just as beautiful now as I was then. <laughs> Is it, like, narcissistic to say that about myself? Uh, it sure has been a long time, huh? Like, totally. Wow, you haven't changed at all since we were in high school, have you? <laughs> Your wardrobe is just as, like, plain as it always was. Hey, wait a second. The guy who ran by just now, was that like your boyfriend or something? Him? Oh no, he's not my... He's not? Oh, okay, well that's a relief. I was beginning to worry for a second. He looked like super duper lame and stuff. What a weirdo. If that guy was like actually your boyfriend, I think my opinion of you might have gotten even lower than it already has, if you can believe that. Exactly what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> like, isn't it obvious? That guy is obviously a complete loser. Didn't you see him? Like, seriously, who wears plain black shirts these days? But like, why do you even care? Didn't you say he wasn't your boyfriend? So what if I call him a loser? It's just the truth. He may not be my boyfriend, but he just so happens to be a very special person to me. I don't care what you say about me. I'm more than used to it after all our school years together. But I'm not going to stand here and allow you to talk about Leon like that. Huh? Like, what's your problem, Hanako? Since when did you have the guts to stand up to me? Have you forgotten your place? Like, seriously, Hanako. Just because we're not in school anymore doesn't mean that we're equals or anything. You're still not even close to being on my level. Do I have to remind you that I was scouted by a big-time modeling firm when I was still in high school? Ugh, I see that even after all these years, Sakurako hasn't changed a bit. She's always been this way. She always loses it whenever anyone who she sees as being beneath her in some way try to stand up to her. Well, I'm waiting. Are you going to apologize to me or what? You have no right to tell me what to do, Hanako. No, apologize. No, I haven't done anything I need to apologize for. So if you're waiting for me to apologize, you're going to be waiting a very long time. Uh, excuse me? Seriously, what is your problem? Who do you think you are? I tried being the bigger person and giving you a chance to apologize. But I guess you're just too immature to do that, so whatever. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, I'm getting married, Hanako. Isn't that, like, amazing? 
and I was thinking that, like, you know, since we've known each other since school, that I would invite you to come. But if this is how you're going to act toward me, you can forget it. There's no way I'm inviting you. It's going to be an awesome party with cool people, and you aren't invited. Okay, fine by me. Oh, sure. You see that now, but there's something else I haven't told you yet. So my husband, right? He's a big shot at a super big company, like one of the biggest in town. And you know what that means? That means all the company big shots are going to come to the wedding too. So there's going to be a ton of super eligible bachelors at the wedding. I was thinking I'd be like a super generous and give you a chance to meet one of those guys. But if you're not interested, then fine. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm not interested. Thanks, though. Oh, sure. You're saying that, but you know that you're dying to come, aren't you? Huh, aren't you, Hanako? So I'll give you just one last chance, got it? Kiss my feet and apologize. Right here, right now. And then I'll forgive you. And I'll even reinvite you to my wedding, okay? Come on, Hanako. You know you want to. No, I actually don't want to. Not even in the slightest. Oh my god, you are so stubborn. Why don't you just be honest and admit that you want to come to my wedding? You know what? I guess that actually, you and that weirdo loser blonde guy from before are perfect for each other. Wow. Do you? Do you really think so? <laughs> huh? What's up with that reaction? Don't worry about it. And anyway, I already told you once, I won't allow you to talk badly about that man. Oh, uh-oh, somebody's getting angry. <laughs> I knew it. You're like totally dating that guy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at the time. I gotta get going. I've got a date with my boyfriend in four hours. I gotta get started on my makeup. So long, loser. I'll post a ton of pictures of all the hot guys at my wedding on Instagram. So make sure to check it out. I think I'll pass. Ugh, what is wrong with her? Like I said, I'm not concerned about what she says about me. I'm used to her nonsense. But I will never allow her to talk about Mr. Leon like that. I wonder if she really meant it when she said we were perfect for each other. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, not that I'm interested in Mr. Leon or anything. He's just my boss, okay? Several days had passed since my reunion with Sakurako, when... Good morning, Mr. Leon. How are you this morning, sir? Woof! <laughs> Uh, Mr. Leon, sir, are you okay? <laughs> um, Mr. Leon, should I call somebody for you? Wait, you mean you didn't understand me, Hanako? Come on, Hanako, don't you remember? We got invited to a werewolf's wedding. What? I was speaking in werewolf language just now. In werewolfies, <laughs> means good morning. I, I see. This is a werewolf wedding, Hanako. There's not going to be just one of them, there's going to be a ton of them! So running away would be pretty hard. One of them would find us eventually for sure, and if that happens, we'll be the reception's main course. So I thought that I should come up with a better plan. I see. So what is your new plan exactly? Okay, here it is. So like I said, it's going to be too hard to run away from them. So my first thought was, how about we just fight them? But you know me, I'm not a fighter at all. In fact, I'd rather become friends with them than have to fight them to the death. And the groom was an old friend of mine before he became a werewolf. I definitely don't want to fight with him. And when I got to thinking, I realized I don't have any werewolf friends. I bet you don't either, do you, Hanako? So yeah, I see this as an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm going to become friends with all the werewolves at that wedding. Every last one. Uh, okay, go on. And so, that's why I decided that I was going to study werewolfies. Here you go, Hanako. I got two of these books. One for me, and one for you. Oh no, not again. Mr. Leon, where did you get these books? And how much did you pay for them? I didn't pay anything. They were a gift from some of my friends at the company. I'm so lucky to be working with such great people. They've also been teaching me all sorts of useful information about werewolves. I had no idea they were so knowledgeable. I've learned so much. Uh... Yeah, lucky you. So yeah, I've been practicing my werewolf ease with that book. You make sure to read up too, alright Hanako? At least an hour a day. Hey, 
Take a video of me real quick. Okay, that's my RSVP. Could you send that video to my werewolf friend, please? Mr. Leon, I told you, it's a misunderstanding. There aren't any... There you are, Leon! Come on, man. Where on earth have you been? Oh, hello, Mamoru. Hanako, you gotta do something about this. I can't take it! Um, may I ask what you're referring to specifically? Well, I'm pretty sure you've realized it by now, but Leon's somehow gotten it in his head that he got invited to a wedding with a bunch of werewolves. And what's worse, is everyone else at the company is egging him on. They're all totally playing along with it. I don't know what to do. Thanks to them, he's now 100% convinced that there are going to be werewolves there. Uh, yeah. I had sensed as much. Yeah, but it gets worse. I caught on to what they were doing to him, and I made them apologize to him and tell them it was all a prank, but it was already too late. He's completely lost in his delusions. All he said to us after that was, I get it. You're just trying to keep me from being afraid of getting eaten. But don't worry about me. I'll be fine. There's no way I'm going to get eaten by werewolves. I'm going to become their friend. Just you wait. Yeah, that sounds like him. Every once in a while, he tends to do something like, well, like this. Ah, uh, it's so great to talk to someone else who gets him. He was saying something about you being his backup for the wedding. Do you think you might be able to talk some sense into him? Do you see this book? Leon just gave this to me. It's a book he wants me to use to study werewolves with him. So, sorry, Mamoru, but I don't think even I can step in here. I've got no choice but to play along until he either snaps out of it or gets bored. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, how about this? What if you do what he says, study really hard, and then try to convince him to snap out of it using werewolf ease? I don't have any better ideas, so I'd say it's at least worth a shot, right? What do you say? I really doubt that would do any good, Mamoru. Yeah, me too. But like I said, I don't have any other ideas. Anyway, I gotta get back to work, so I'm heading back to my office. Can I ask you to look after my dork of a brother for a while? Yes, sir. To be honest, this is really all the fault of those people at the company. If they hadn't egged him on, he would probably have gotten bored by now. But as long as Leon is hanging around here, I've got nothing else to do. Might as well brush up on my werewolfies. <gasps> Wait, if only the two of us can speak werewolfies, then we can have secret conversations between the two of us. Um, um, for work, of course. Mr. Leon, sir, it's getting quite late. Don't you think we should be heading home? Woof, woof, woof. Looks like I'm doing overtime today, again. Wait, you're still here, Hanako? So like, what? Have you been hanging around with your loser boyfriend this whole time? Sakuraku, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Hanako, is your boyfriend like insane or something? Where did you find this guy? At the insane asylum? What is wrong with him? Look, there's a perfectly good reason for all of this. Well, actually there isn't. <laughs> okay, I gotta get a video of this. This is going straight to my Instagram. It's gonna go viral for sure. <laughs> Man, I was totally right. The two of you are absolutely 100% perfect for each other. You really think so? <laughs> oh yeah, I always knew you'd end up with a guy whose IQ is lower than his shoe size. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again, Sakuraku. Do not talk about him like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your widow boyfriend's feelings? Oh, by the way, my wedding is coming up. Like, super duper soon. Not that it matters to you. You're not invited. I'm sure you'll have a lovely time going to the dog park with that psycho boyfriend of yours instead, though. Later, girlfriend. That does it. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Leon, sir, don't you think you're being just a little bit too aggressive right now? Well, duh! She smelled like danger! My feral instincts were tingling! Your feral instincts, huh? Alright then. Ugh, <sighs> out of all people, why did she have to come by here today? But man, I do not envy whoever Sakuraku was getting married to. Sheesh. I could imagine dealing with that for ten minutes, much less my whole life. A few days later... Yes! It's finally my big day! Shota, aren't you excited? Of course I am! We're finally getting married! This is great! Make sure the photographers get some good shots of me in my dress, got it? I can't 
can't wait to put all of my pictures up on my Instagram. I'm gonna get like a million likes on each one. And the best part, all the losers I didn't invite are gonna get so crazy jealous. <laughs> huh? What the? What's the matter, Sakurako? Uh, sorry, Shota. I, uh, I remember something I gotta take care of real quick. Oh, uh, well, okay. Go ahead. Hanako! Just what do you think you're doing here? Hmm. Oh, hello there, Sakurako. Don't give me hello! What are you doing here? I did not invite you to my wedding, remember? I don't want any losers like you ruining my day, so get out of here now! Ugh, my god, you are such a moron! What made you think you could just come and crash my wedding after all the awful things you said to me that day? Crash? I think you're confused, Sakurako. I'm not crashing anything. I don't want to hear it! Shut up and get out! Not so fast! Hanako here is right! We're not crashing this wedding! Oh my god, you came too? Don't you have to get rabies shot or something? We were invited by the werewolf himself to the Lupine Chapel! The werewolf? Now what are you talking about? Are you high or something? I'm gonna call security! Mr. Leon, sir, there aren't any werewolves. But this is the Lupine Wedding Chapel! Ugh, sir, this is the Lapine Chapel, not the Lupine Chapel. Lupine! Okay, I'm less angry now, and more just weirded out. Oh, awesome! You guys are here! Thanks for coming. Here, I'll walk the two of you over to your seats. Huh? I'm sorry, Shota. My bo- Er, I mean my boss. Mr. Leon is saying, congratulations on your wedding. I'm very happy for you both. Oh boy, don't tell me. Leon misread the invitation, didn't he? Yeah, I tried telling him, but as you can see. <sighs> Come on, man. I know French was never your strong suit, but seriously, Lupine is spelled with a U, got it? And Le is just French for the. It's the pine, not the werewolf. Good grief. Yeah, I tried to tell him that when the invitation first arrived, but he ran out the door before I had the chance to explain that he misread it. After that, Tom and Jenny from accounting got the idea to play along with the whole thing and, well, one thing led to another, and now Leon is wearing dog ears and speaking werewolf -ese. I'm really sorry about all this, but there was nothing I could do. Nah, it's not your fault. Leon's been this way for as long as I've known him. I should have been expecting this, honestly. Hey, wait! Hold on, Shoda. So, like, you know these guys? Like, for real? Uh, sorry, Sakurako. I forgot to introduce you. This is the CEO of the Ugumori Group, a major client of mine, Leon Ugumori. And this is his executive assistant, Hanako. Did, did you just say the Ugumori Group? Like, THE Ugumori Group? Yep. I've got friends in high places, huh? We've actually known each other since college. And since we both went into business, We've been supporting each other the whole way. No way! This, like, can't be happening. Are you telling me that Hanako and this total weirdo are in the Yugamori group? This cannot be happening! Are you being for real right now? Is this, like, a wedding prank or something? Oh, have the two of you met before? Are you friends? Friends? Uh, no, um... Uh, Hanako, would you mind translating again? I don't speak... Werewolfies. He said, that woman just told the two of us that we weren't invited and have to leave. This is such a disappointing development, as I was very much looking forward to befriending the werewolves. Sakurako, is he telling the truth? Did you really tell them to leave? Tell me it isn't true. But, Shota, you, you don't understand. I can't help but notice that wasn't a no. And it's not just today either. She's been incredibly rude to Mr. Leon for the last several weeks. That's not true. Shota, don't listen to her. She's lying. Come on, Hanako. Stop making up stories about me. Listen, Shota. I'm sorry you had to hear that, but you gotta believe me. It's all a lie. I used to go to school with Hanako, and she was famous for being a shameless liar. She lied about everything. She was always trying to get other kids in trouble for things they didn't do. Really? I don't know. I may not have known her for as long as you have, but she doesn't really seem like she's that kind of person to me. That would be because I'm not that kind of person. She made that up. Like, who are you gonna believe? Me? Your fiancé? Or her? Excuse me, Shoda, but I have a video on my phone that I'd like you to see. A video? You are recording me? But why? 
Mr. Leon wanted to have a video of when he made friends with a werewolf for the first time. So I've been recording everything since he got here. Friends with a werewolf? What are you talking about? <gasps> oh no! Does that mean you were recording everything I said earlier? Let's take a look at the video then, shall we? No, Shota! Don't watch it! It's a trick! A deep fake! I showed Shota the video we recorded a few moments ago, as well as a video I took of Leon the other day, while he was practicing his werewolf ease in the park. He told me he wanted to be able to listen to his own voice so he could practice his pronunciation. I doubt he foresaw this sort of situation, though. Or, well, I don't know. Maybe he did. Well, Sakurako, I think you've got some explaining to do right about now. You just told me that Hanako was lying, but the truth is that you were lying, isn't it? No, Shota, that's not true. I told you, this is a fake video. She must have made it with AI. Let me tell you something you don't know about Hanako and Leon. A few years ago, when my company was in big trouble, do you know who came in to save me from ruin? These two! I owe them everything, and you tried to kick them out, then lied about it! I- I'm sorry, Shota, okay? I'm sorry! I'm really sorry for everything! So come on, we've gotta get ready for the wedding. It's gonna start soon. Everyone's waiting for me, remember? It's my big day! The wedding is off, Sakurako! <gasps> no! You can't do that to me! I can, and I will! Are you out of your mind? You don't see how good I look in this dress? You can't just leave me at the altar! What kind of man do you think I am? Do you think I'm just after some kind of trophy wife? No! I want someone who's as beautiful on the inside as they are on the outside! And after what I just saw, I can tell that you're absolutely hideous on the inside! I'm disappointed in you! Wait! Shota! Come back! No! I'm never coming back! I'm gone for good! No! You can't! What about... What about me? Please! Allow me to apologize on behalf of my former fiancé. Neither of you deserve to be talked to the way she did. I'm sorry you came out all this way just for it to end like this. But I'll be sure to find some way to make it up to you. Oh! 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 Mr. Leon says, you don't need to apologize. I feel honored to be friends with such a distinguished werewolf as yourself. Though I must admit, I do regret losing the opportunity to meet more of your kind. And if I may be so bold, I would add that Sakurako stinks to high heaven. A werewolf as gracious and magnanimous as yourself will surely find a superior bride. Hopefully, a less stinky one. It really means a lot to hear you say that, Leon. And you're right. There are plenty of fish in the sea, or werewolves in the forest. What is the matter with all of you? Why are you still talking about werewolves? I don't deserve any of this. I'm too pretty to get dumped. This was supposed to be the best day of my life, and you ruined it! <laughs> and that's the story of how Sakurako's writing got cancelled. I feel bad for Shota, but I guess the silver lining is that at least he didn't have to end up marrying her. That's a fate I wouldn't wish on anyone, much less a nice guy like Shota. Honestly, it kind of makes me wonder what he saw in her in the first place. But I guess she always was a good actor. I'm glad he found out before they got married. Now he'll be free to marry a woman who isn't a narcissistic maniac. Things didn't go well for Sakurako after that. Just as he said, he officially broke off their engagement. A few days later... Here it is, Hanako! Right over here! I finally found it! I heard that there are some werewolves in here! Isn't that great? Now I can make my second werewolf friend ever! Mr. Leon, sir, are you sure there are werewolves here? I'm 100% sure. Sumimo and the gang told me that they heard a werewolf's voice coming from here. I see. Did you hear that, Hanako? Wait, you mean there really are werewolves here? Wait, I know that voice. There it goes! It's running away! Don't let it escape! Come on, Hanako! We're going after it! That was... Sakuraku? I guess you've been crying here in the park all night. That must be why Samomo thought she heard a werewolf one hour later. Oh man, he lost it! Oh well, we can come back tomorrow and try again. Maybe it'll come back. <laughs> sure, Mr. Leon, sir. That sounds fine. It's the most incredible feeling ever to be alone with Mr. Leon like this. You know, now that I think about it, you're something else, Hanako. You're already totally fluent in werewolf ease. <laughs> well, I guess I did study pretty hard, I guess. I really respect your work ethic and dedication, Hanako. You... you respect me, Mr. Leon? I've got an idea. Why don't you quiz me? Your werewolf ease is better than mine. 
So if I had you helping me to study, I'll be able to speak werewolf feast like a pro in no time. Okay, here goes. I'm stumped. Was it something like pie glove view? <laughs> Close, but wrong. Looks like you need to study a bit more. Ah, come on. Tell me the answer, Hanako. Nope. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. As much as I'd like to give him the answer now, I think I'll wait until the time is right. Besides, I'm happy with the way things are between us, and even if I told him the answer, he probably wouldn't get the point anyway. That's my Mr. Leon. But don't worry, someday I'll tell him what I said, and the next time, it won't be in werewolf ease. It'll come straight from my heart.